You know, banks do not only, uh, will not only play a role in the transition or financing the transition, but in my view, banks also play a critical role in terms of educating uh, people, whether they are clients or the general uh, masses, so that they can bring them along uh, the journey. Uh, we talk about data, we talk about uh, uh, reporting standards, and both are applicable on the financial uh, institution uh, front as much as at the corporates and banks will play a pivotal role again in terms of uh, bringing clients uh, alike and uh, the general masses into uh, being more informed about what the sustainability is all about, how we will all contribute uh, to this uh, global drive. And you know, um, I'll give you another example, our uh, Climb to Change uh, initiative that we have uh, kick-started a couple of months uh, back um, is uh, our answer uh, to this uh, drive. And we are hoping through this campaign to ignite people's interest in driving the sustainability floor with everyone also uh, contributing by starting his own uh, climb or his own contribution uh, to a risk that uh, is looming and to a risk that is really serious uh, in this part of the world and elsewhere. Well, I mean, if I look at the last uh, uh, three, four years in particular, since we started the, or our transition journey, I would say collaboration. Uh, in my mind, uh, financial institutions, uh, central banks, uh, government bodies, and uh, also uh, corporate and the private sector working together is the secret source to accelerate this uh, transition. Nothing will work without uh, this collaborative uh, effort. And from what I have seen, the more uh, cooperation, the more discussions, uh, COP has helped to a great extent having uh, being held in uh, the COP27 in Egypt last year and uh, this year in uh, UAE is helping to uh, uh, instigate this kind of dialogue and discussion and uh, collaboration. Financing infused into renewable energy or the clean energy stand double the kind of financing uh, being directed at conventional I'm hoping with uh, all the efforts being done right now that we are able to quadruple that by 2030. And uh, I think that the uh, future uh, of sustainable finance uh, will occupy or dominate the space of any financing activities. Here in the region and elsewhere globally as we move forward, uh, we have uh, a mountain uh, uh, to climb. Uh, it's going to be an uphill battle for all of us in order to reverse uh, the direction of the cur current uh, climate change. Financing will play a crucial part uh, of it. And uh, I would think with the kind of commitments that we are seeing, we are on the right track and on the right direction.